The following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its associate editor. Hi, Aaron Coriel for BoatTest.com and today we'll be doing a detailed review of the Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. The Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck makes bringing the whole family on board a breeze. With continuous improvements in this class of boat, Sea Ray tells us the 240 is sure to stand out. One of the first things that caught my eye was the amount of space in the cockpit, making it easy for me to entertain while on the water. Since I always boat with a lot of friends on board, extra storage space is a must. With two in-deck storage compartments, gunnel storage to port and starboard, and underseat storage, there is plenty of room to bring most anything needed for a day on the water. They have also provided storage in the helm console, along with the master stereo control, 12-volt courtesy outlet, and connections for an MP3 player. The comfortable L-shaped seating is upholstered in Omnova and Morburn marine grade vinyl with mildew and UV protection with a custom gray Sea Ray logo. An interesting feature is this pull-out cup holder that converts back to part of the seat cushion when not in use, sure to come in handy with the kids on board. Below is dedicated storage space for the 25-quart cooler and Sea Ray thoughtfully angled the storage area, making it easy to slide in and out. The carpet is marine grade Syntec brand, which along with the upholstery is cut and bound in house. For it, the comfortable aft facing lounger allowed me to put my feet up and watch the action at the end of the tow line, while also making it easy to convert and sit forward facing. The foam padded cap rails give this cockpit an upscale design while also enhancing the comfort level. Just below is a stainless steel grab handle and a Sony marine grade speaker. A design feature I like is the well-balanced beige and gray ultra-leather upholstery that lines the exterior trim of the head compartment. While the head compartment is small, most will appreciate the optional head. Others might like it without the toilet and just use it for storing beach bags and water toys. The upscale features continue to be evident in this compartment with the wood veneered storage compartment on the forward wall. Leading out to the sun deck, there is a removable seat cushion which slides to reveal a non-skid surface. The outward opening transom hatch is gasketed to reduce noise. Here we have a fresh water shower, sure to come in handy for rinsing off before entering the boat. We also have a Sony stereo remote, allowing me to turn up the tunes from this entertainment area. A covered three-step ladder on the swim platform allows me to use the space for tanning when it's not in use. Beneath the spacious sun pad is self-draining wet storage, additional storage for swim gear, and it's held open by stainless steel gas assist struts. Overall, this is a nice place to get a tan and enjoy the action in the water. Let's see what the bow has to offer. The bow accommodates forward and aft face seating that easily converts into a large sun pad. Sea Ray expanded this bow area creating a roomy feel with a width that measured 47 inches. Fully forward, there is a four-step beach reboarding ladder, even more storage beneath the seat cushions, Sony speakers, and two armrests that give this bow a luxurious feel. The optional bow and cockpit tables are a convenient added feature for lunch and snacks, and have dedicated storage space beneath the helm console. Both tables could really come in handy when hosting my large family on board. And because protection from the sun is important to me, the optional Sumbrella Bemity, equipped with stainless steel support, quick connector, and mount, definitely gets my vote. That completes our detailed review of the Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. For Botest.com, I'm Ann Correa.